big material, big rails. They had what they call it uh, the Y. Look what you, your track moves to one side to put the car in, and then you move it back this way so the other car can go by. It's like a little, little wise, you know. And then so you were having to take, pull all the tracks out? Put all the tracks, the railroad track, uh, tires. It was not too big because it's just a sudden. But he used to load all that and all the rails and all the machinery, and all the backhaul, all kinds of machines. They used to put them up and take them into the station and load them up and then send them up. And my brother was up there and he'd take them out and send them back. Mm -hmm. And what did, so they were basically trying to sell all that off? Yeah, they wanted to try to clean up before they closed everything. And they tried to best what they could, where they can take out. I think I only work. I think I worked about two weeks like that, taking the stuff off, bringing it to the station and loading them up, and, and my brother and him then take them out, unload it outside. And then afterwards, uh, then when you took everything out of the shafts and everything was clean, then you just clean. worked on top. And then you work on top, and then okay, that's it. There's no more job. Oh, and did and. Did you have a retirement? Was there? Anything? I don't give you no hard work time. No retirement. I had a friend, one one of my friends. He did, he worked about fifteen years when he got retired, and he went to put for, uh, get to retirement. He says there's, just, there's no money there, uh -huh. so I don't give him no no retirement or nothing. And that was for um, the Iron King. The Iron King mine.